We will start by basifying our acidic layer. We will take a little over 45 milliliters of NaOH, 4.5 molar, and add it to our acidic layer slowly. So everything should be in the ice bath? Everything, you should perform your experiment in the ice bath and have your litmus paper ready so you can test the acidity along the way. We already did the first drop and we can see that it's bright red, meaning that this so is very acidic. This will go here. This is acidic. Now uh, we should just start. Bright red. So now we will start adding NaOH. I'll start by adding around 15 milliliters. And stirring. We can then test the pH again using the litmus paper. And it's still red, we can see. So I will add another 15 milliliters. Then we can test the pH. It's still pretty red, but it is definitely getting lighter. Add some more sodium hydroxide. Test the pH. Still red, kind of pink. I will add the rest of the sodium hydroxide that I have in the cylinder. Now it is showing yellow color. Now I will need to take another litmus paper. See, all the yellow color is uh, from aniline. And it will take some time because we have only 10% aniline here. So we'll leave it here in for some time meanwhile uh, we can start washing our glasswares we can throw this uh, uh, ether layer ok let's test this first Basic. Basic. So we'll wait for that to cool. And the precipitate will form. Yes. Yeah. Make sure that you always clean the spatula between compounds because you don't want to contaminate your other solutions. Now we will move on to acidify the basic layer. Our basic layer is labeled B here in the back of the ice tray. I have weighed out approximately 45 to 50 milliliters of 4.5 molar HCl and I have cut up a litmus paper so I can test it along the way. Okay, so first we start testing pH. So that we know if it is basic, yep. Very basic, so very blue. Basic blue. So now I will add about 15 milliliters of 4.5 molar HCl. And then stir. And then test the pH again. Blue. Still basic. More 15, another 15 milliliters. Continue stirring. And then test it again using the litmus paper. Still blue, add another 15 milliliters.
test it again. It's pretty neutral. Mm. Turning pink. Yep. And a little bit more. A little bit more just to ensure that it's acidic. Stir. You can see that it's clear. And now we will wait for some time to start see precipitate. Now it's bright red. Right. So wait for some time. My, meanwhile we will do the cleaning. Wait for the precipitate to form. So once your extraction is done, all your acidic and basic, then ether layer you can rinse in your beaker and you can throw this don't throw this into aqueous um, sink you have to put this in the organic waste this is the organic waste so while it is uh, precipitating uh, we have to do cleaning of these glasswares so that you can save your time so whenever you work in the lab make sure every time you wear all the PPE, your gloves lab coat full toe shoes and band okay and then now uh, it's time to clean this uh, separate funnel and all your glasswares so first uh, um, rinse it with acetone so that you can uh, remove all the organic solvent organic compound from here like this so you can see all the organic compound will be gone and this we use for a7 base so there is no organic compound here we have uh, and then we'll <coughs> um, clean with the soap water now we'll do the cleaning with the soap water so here you have soap water add some soap and then use these uh, make sure you clean everything upside down this side So the same way, this is only for acid or base, so we just rinse it with water and this is also soap water. That's it. So once you are clean with the water, soap water, you have to rinse it again with the acetone to dry it. Then you will be ready to keep in the deep your Probably we are going to use this uh, once again or we can use a uh, uh, we'll use this uh, uh, for filtration for rinsing the compound. So now we will use the balance to weigh out the filter paper that we will be using for the vacuum filtration.
For the nitroaniline, this is going to be our filter paper. Make sure that it's at zero. Open the glass and place the filter paper directly on the balance. We will record to three decimal places. And do the same thing for the benzoic acid. So here we have filter paper, way, pre-way filter paper. Now we will do the vacuum filtration of benzoic acid. To set up for vacuum filtration, you will place your, your filtration flask into the ring stand. Make sure that it is clamp. nice and secure. Nice clamp. Nice clamp. <laughs> the clamp. Make sure it is secure. Then you will place the vacuum hose onto the flask. Make sure it's nice and snug. The next step will to be placing the funnel. the funnel into the flask. And here we have already pre-way benzoic acid for the paper. And place it into the funnel. Open the vacuum. Open the vacuum to begin the airflow. And apply some water here so that it can stuck on the paper. Nice. And now you're ready for the separation. Mm -hmm. We are using benzoic acid first. Wow, we got white precipitate in the bottom. You can see a strong precipitate formed in the flask. We will begin by pouring it into the vacuum filtration system. We have got a nice precipitate of benzoic acid. Wow, see how much. You can rinse one more. One you can use water. water to rinse out the flask mm -hmm. to get any leftover precipitate that may be in there. And now you let it dry. So let it dry, air dry first. And then we will go in the oven. Now that we have waited five minutes for our compound to air dry, we will disconnect the vacuum hose. First, we have to disconnect. Now we can turn it off. Now we will use the spatula to scrape the sides of the funnel. Mm -mm. Yeah, we can remove this and then with the filter paper, everything. Nice. Very cool. And then we have to clean this beginner funnel for second time use. So this is for we'll go dry. Now we will take our benzoic acid filter paper and place it in the oven, labeled 2141, which is our lab. Open the handle and place it into one of the divots where it's secure. We'll come back after 10 minutes. And make sure you close it tightly. So now we have to clean all these glass pairs. Our filtration assembly for the next step next filtration which is uh, our uh, three nitro vac in yeah to collect the three nitro and then in. so now we uh, will filter this uh, vacuum filtration for three nitro anodine 
and here is our um, compound you can see sometimes it's very hard to see any precipitate and sometimes maybe you will not see any precipitate because uh, three nitro aniline we have only 10 percent in the mixture remaining other so that's okay we will use this uh, filter paper which is from for nitro aniline place it here start vacuum and apply some water here then uh, use this to filter it probably you will get some uh, dust very light dust and then we will wait for some time so after 5 minutes remove this uh, key close this one and collect your 3 nitro and any paper it's very fine dust nothing too much and then we have to clean this one so for cleaning you you have to throw this in the aqueous waste then cleaning so cleaning procedure is we have to wash with first rinse with acetone then soap water then water then acetone and now we'll go to uh, keep this in the oven so we'll put this uh, into our oven where benzoic acid is here and next night I maybe mean after 10 minutes we'll come back so here we have dried benzoic acid crystals which we precipitate so let's see Oops. we need to make sure it is zero first now place it so filter paper with compound is 0 0.377 minus starting 0 0 2 so on almost 200 milligram 0 0.02 gram benzoic acid we got it so now it's time for weighing nitro so it's a 0 very very small amount in 0 0.196 0 0.196 minus 0 0.022 gram so this was the amount we got for nitroaniline precipitation and this was the amount we got for benzoic acid.